Mr. Kanwal. So uh, in this video, uh, I'll be explaining how to print uh, uh, the string or uh, the given variables uh, in Scilab. Actually, say notes in Scilab. Okay. So uh, as we all know, uh, that in the console we can directly display. So let's say we use this disk and the string. Um, it actually uh, executes. Hit run, it works. Okay. So uh, the same applies to uh, the sign notes where I uh, have to uh, you know, just write the uh, hello world. That's what uh, you will be wrote. You write. And uh, when I hit, uh, you can see there's three options here. Uh, so the first one is uh, just execute. And second is uh, save and execute the current file, and the third one is uh, save and execute all the files. So let me run uh, the second option, which is save and execute, so that uh, the star which uh, unsaved file will be converted to uh, a saved file and then executes. So as you see here, it's hello world view. Okay. So in order to get rid of uh, this screen here, uh, let's say yeah, we can uh, use the command call clc, which clear the screen and uh, um, as you see here, uh, this existing variables which has been already, uh, um, which uh, which may be done in the previous thing, uh, like previous programs. So it it will be stored in the in this uh, variable process. So in order to get rid of this uh, things, you have to use close and round brackets. So uh, sorry, sorry, it's not close. It's uh, it's clear. You have to clear clear the every variables. Over here, okay. So uh, uh, when I hit the control save and execute, as you see here, uh, the existing hello one hello world get, uh, wiped out, and also the uh, variable browser gets cleaned. So these are some of the basic things which we will be um, seeing in the Scilab tutorial. Um, let me know uh, uh, if you have any doubts. Uh, this is this is just a starting one, and. Uh, I think I plan to continue this in future so to make more videos on Silent. Okay, so that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching.